So this morning, I want us to uh, just take some time to consider this big question. Did Jesus Christ really rise from the dead? Or are you and I just believing a lie? And I want us to look at both sides of the argument. I want us to look at cases why people dispute the physical resurrection of Christ. And then we want to look at arguments or facts that point to his resurrection. So what would be the claims against the resurrection of Jesus? Number one, they just went to the wrong tomb. Now this argument doesn't hold much water because there was the other tomb where the soldiers were parked at. The second argument that people have come up with is the body was stolen. There could have been only two ways in which the body would have been stolen. One possibility is the disciples tried to steal the body while the soldiers were on guard. So the only other possibility is that night from when they put the, tomb, the body in the tomb to the morning when the soldiers arrived. Now, firstly, they would not have attempted that because it was their day of preparation. They would not, as good Jewish people, work beyond that time. They would not do anything. Number three. The Jewish or the Roman authorities moved the body. What would you have done if you were one of those authorities and you heard the disciples out there preaching that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead? The first thing you would have done is to roll out the dead body in front of them and say, hey, his body is right here. Number four, the disciples were hallucinating. They were just imagining all this. Many of them touched him. You cannot touch an imagination. And even if they were hallucinating, how about all the other people? Who came to faith in Christ. Number five. Jesus didn't really die. Maybe he just swooned. We have a death certificate given by the Roman soldiers. And the last one. Is maybe the disciples were just preaching a lie. If they just did that. What about their own lives? What about the lives of the 120? What about the lives of the 500? So let me, let's just quickly look at the whole story. And build a case for the other side. Number one, the broken Roman seal. That Roman seal, no man would have dared to break it. Second fact to assert the claim of his physical resurrection was the empty tomb. Number three, a large stone was moved. This stone was estimated to be about two tons in weight. It was moved not just by a few men, but it had to be moved by a powerful angel. Number five, grave clothes were left behind. Number six, Jesus' appearance was confirmed. The disciples saw him. There were 500 eyewitnesses. Number seven, like we mentioned earlier, the disciples' own lives. All 11 of them, 11 of them, one died of old age, but 11 of them giving up their lives as martyrs for this message. And lastly, today, lives are transformed and miracles will happen in his name. So now, why does all this matter to us? Here's why. Our sins are taking us to an eternal separation from God to a place called hell. The only answer the Bible presents to us is this. That God himself becomes our savior. The Bible says 2,000 years ago, God came into this world. He came in the person of Jesus Christ. He lived a sinless life. He demonstrated to us. He revealed God to us. He showed what God is like. All of that he did. But ultimately he went to the cross. And the cross was that place where the sins of the whole world were paid for. And he rose up again. And he's alive today. He told his disciples, go tell the whole world. That whoever believes in me receives forgiveness for their sins. Jesus' claim is this. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. He said, I am the way, meaning there is no other way. I am the truth, meaning there is no other truth. I am the life, meaning I am, he is the only source of life. There is no other source of life. He knows you and I can in no way achieve it. He gives it to us as a gift simply because we believe in what he provides for us through Jesus Christ. He gives us salvation and he makes us a new creation.